this is Bruce Jansen at uh, the American Heart Association annual meeting in Dallas where I'm speaking with the principal investigator of the Minerva study, Dr. Giuseppe Boriani of Bologna, Italy. Uh, tell us what the core findings of your study were. This study is a multi-center randomized st study enrolling more than 1,000 patients testing what is the best solution for patients who need to be implanted with a pacemaker for bradycardia and have history of atrial fibrillation. Our study was positive and showed that there is the potential to use the new technology available in devices for improving the outcome of our patients and the study showed a 61% relative risk reduction uh, with regard to the evolution of atrial fibrillation to permanent atrial fibrillation, which is the irreversible stage of evolution of the arrhythmia when it can no longer be treated. So what does that translate to in terms of numbers needed to be treated? The, uh, every 20 patients that we implant with the most advanced technology available today, we save one evolution to permanent AF. So the number needed to treat is 20 patients. And uh, what size of a uh, potential patient population in the U.S., uh, for example, might benefit from this? In the uh, U.S., 170,000 patients per year are implanted with that pacemaker. If we consider that half of them are patients with sinus node disease and or, or 20 to 30 percent of, of them have history of atrial fibrillation, this implies that 25,000 per year of the patient can be candidate to implant these advanced or and smart pacemakers.